just want to thank all of you um, for coming out. This day has, has been a long time in the making, a whole lot of, uh, uh, of, of hard work and uh, listening uh, to the community, working with a fantastic city staff, including our folks at Parks and Rec and our, our police department, all of our public works folks. And uh, it's, it's turned into this great vision uh, for the Busby Street Community Resource and, and, and Training Center that we're going to break ground on here uh, in a minute. Um, as many of you know, this will be a community center with walking trails, a police substation, uh, with a training facility at the base of the James Clyburn Memorial Pedestrian Bridge. I want to thank Dalton Tresent from the Congressman's Office uh, for representing Congressman Clyburn here uh, today. This has been a fantastic partnership between the City of Columbia, uh, all of our different departments, Parks and Rec, the Police Department, our Department of Engineering, uh, the Department of Public Works, and uh, the Columbia Empowerment Zone. I want to thank uh, Felicia Maloney and, and, and Judge McDuffie in, in, her, in her absence, and we pray for her, her speedy recovery uh, for their work. Uh, fantastic architects, Architects Design Group and McCreary Snow Architects, um, and we're happy to have the folks, the Clayton Construction Company, who told me that I'd be able to, to uh, drive the equipment today. Is that still the case? Uh, I don't think we have uh, insurance for that, so I, I want to uh, recommend we, we don't allow me to ride the, the heavy equipment. Uh, Mr. Davis says he can do it. Okay, go for it, Sam. Go for it. Uh, uh, it's important also to know that this uh, project will move forward with 28 percent minority-owned or women-owned uh, business enterprise uh, participation uh, in, in making this happen, consistent with our, our commitment to diversity and inclusion in city contracting. Uh, $3.4 million, $3 million is uh, dedicated to phase one construction, and, and we want to thank the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for their partnership in helping make this land available. Uh, this is going to be exciting and, and, and long overdue, and we're so happy that the leaders from the Burton Heights and Standish Acres uh, community have, have joined us uh, uh, for this momentous occasion. Uh, this is one of the rare areas in the city, as you all know, that overlaps with District 1 and District 2. Uh, so we, we, uh, we're, we're so thankful to have uh, Councilman Davis, uh, uh, who's dutifully represented District 1, and Councilman McDowell, who has hit the ground running in, 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 in District 2, and both of our at-large uh, council people, uh, Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, the Mayor Pro Tem, and also Councilman Howard Duvall here with us uh, today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you who's going to speak in that order, and I'm going to let them go ahead and, 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 and present themselves uh, for what we expect will be brief comments um, uh, um, this afternoon. I said, I said brief comments this afternoon, so, so we'll see how, how that goes. Uh, in addition, of course, to our, our, our um, elected officials, um, we're, of course, um, so excited to be joined by um, Henry Hopkins, the um, longtime leader of the Eau Claire Community Council, who's done so much uh, in the community up here on, on the dais with us. And, of course, uh, you're going to be hearing from uh, the president of the Burton Heights Neighborhood Association, uh, Ms. Edna Harrison. And, and certainly, we want to thank our, 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 our wonderful and fantastic city manager uh, uh, for being here and participating as well in her leadership in making this happen. Uh, so we're going to hear from uh, Councilman Sam Davis, uh, followed by Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, our, our Mayor Pro Tem, uh, followed by Councilman Ed McDowell, District 2. And then we're going to hear from our City Manager, and um, then we'll um, introduce uh, Edna Harrison, the President of the Burton Heights Standish Acres neighborhood. Thank you, and God bless you, uh, and thank you for joining us on this great day. All right, Mr. Davis. Good day, bro. It's hot again. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think um, we have uh, said all that needs to be said in anticipation of, of this project. Um, I just hope that um, you view it as I do, and I'm sure as my colleagues do, that this is um, our commitment. It's, it's part of our duty. It's what we should do on your behalf. Uh, and the, the, the building, the project itself, is going to greatly serve this area. That's the intent. And that um, it adds to the quality of life. There, there will be some amenities here that you don't have to leave this community uh, to enjoy anymore. And um, I think that uh, 
and I'm hoping that, that uh, we have um, done right by you and that um, this project will live up to its expectations. And um, I'm uh, pleased that the staff did uh, what they promised to do, and that was to be diligent about making this happen. And of course, it, with your help and the help of um, other community partners that you have, uh, Henry Hopkins, for example, with the Eau Claire Community Council, and uh, Christy Savage with the Community Council. Uh, I think we've all had some feedback from everybody, and we've sat in the rooms when y'all wanted to make sure that we were doing it right, and uh, even down to the tiles, and, and that's good. Uh, so you have a lot at stake in this project, and uh, we look forward to enjoying it with you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Of course, I'm going to be very brief. As y'all can see, I'm ready to break ground, so I went ahead and put my hat on. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, November, I'd be remiss not recognize. November is known as National Gratitude Month. And although um, we need to be grateful and thankful every single day of the year, we know that there's a special emphasis put on gratitude and thankfulness in the month of November. Um, and so I think it's just fitting that we are having this groundbreaking at the beginning of Gratitude Month because we want to say thank you to this community for continuing to stick with us, helping us as we revise plans, work to how we were going to get things done. And uh, thank you for being here again uh, as we finally do break ground because I think this is certainly a testament of how we all can work together and provide the very best uh, that um, this community deserves and that uh, we as a community can, can certainly enjoy. So that'll be all that I said. I know that um, Councilman McDowell um, is going to uh, bring some words and then uh, Ms. Ed uh, Ms. Harrison has also asked him to pray. So I would just ask that as we pray today, we pray um, and think about all the, the leaders who stuck with us uh, to get to this point. Um, and we pray over this ground so that what comes out of this ground is certainly um, fitting of uh, the commitment this community has. So thank you, and Ed. The mayor asked me whether or not my hat was large enough. Let me just say a word of thanks to each of you, to our mayor, to our city manager, and other colleagues on council. What a lovely day it is for us to break ground. And in so breaking ground, we break ground in hopes of new possibilities, new opportunities, and a new enhancement for Fair Road. I must say this, uh, in the midst of this project, Sam Davis has been very instrumental in allowing and visioning this project. Of course, when the districts were realigned, Sam was on one side and I was on the other, but that did not negate our partnership and our partnering together. And that's what happens, I think, when people come together and they visualize in a very positive way. So it was not competitive, but it was opportunities for our community. And I want to thank him for his leadership. But fortunately enough, he's on my side of the street now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you all so much for coming. And of course, I would be remiss if I would not, could, would not, offer a word of grace for this service and this ceremony today. Oh, Lord, for all that you've done for us for this day of hopeful, exciting possibilities. Lord, we thank you for the leadership of our city. We thank you, Lord, for the ability to dream. We've dreamt big, and in so dreaming big, we are able to shovel dirt to start this re-energizing project. We pray for our mayor, our city manager, and other members of this council, and particularly members of this community, as new resources are opened and lives are changed. Lord, we ask it. We claim it in your name, and every heart said, amen.
Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm going to use this time, which I obviously always uh, respect and thank our mayor and city council members for giving the staff the flexibility and leadership to do great things and think big, as Reverend McDowell just said. And we know this has been um, a labor of love, and we're so excited about this day where we actually get to break ground. But I really want to use my remarks to thank Clayton Construction, who is on site with us. And I, and I want you to know that having the actual foreman owner, Mr. Bo Moss, here with us today means so much. He has committed to uh, me that whatever we need, we will have it. We will get this project done, hopefully on time and on budget, Mr. Moss, as I've committed. Um, but I'm so excited about his excitement for the project. I told him when I met him and they had on all the green hats and their, their theme and their color for their company is green. I said, that means so much because that our theme for this project is the beautiful green to match the Clyburn Bridge and that green color of prosperity and safety I hope that's going to um, we'll experience as they work through this project over the next year so we're excited that he's here with us that he's actually on site and committed to being on site so often and that means a lot um, gives me hope that the project will go very well I wanted to ask Felicia Maloney the director of the Columbia Empowerment Zone to come up with me because with any project in the city as much as all of us attend to it, there's got to be a champion on staff. And Felicia has been that person over many years. And so I wanted Felicia to come up because I don't want to forget anybody um, from the boards that have also helped us get to this point today and all the wonderful community members and ladies that I see in front of me and gentlemen. So, Felicia. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. I'd like to thank the Columbia Empowerment Zone board members. Um, our chairperson is not here. It's, it's, um, Mayor Benjamin stated earlier she's been uh, ill for several weeks now. But I do want to recognize Mr. Uh, Henry Hopkins, who was a champion of this project many, many years ago and is still with us. And we have one board member here, I think, Mr. Reggie Bryce. And I also wanted to recognize Mr. Um, uh, Reverend Dozier, who is the executive, I mean, the chairperson of the Columbia uh, Eau Claire Development Corporation. And Chris At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Edna Harris, who is the Burton Heights Neighborhood President, <laughs> who has made sure <laughs> that, that we kept this project at the forefront of our mind. And, uh, and, and I'll just let her <laughs> say what she needs to say. Okay, thank you, thank Ms. You. Harris. Thank you again. Um, you've seen me up here a number of times for the Burton Heights Stanish Acres Neighborhood. First of all, I want my neighbors to at least raise their hands or stand where they are because we've been in this fight a long time. I know the mayor said be brief. I'm going to be brief, but I'm going to say what I have to say. All right, now. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's been a long time coming. And I feel now that this is going to be a successful project. Now, we've done digging before. But this time, I think that we are going to see some bricks and mortar coming up. As a matter of fact, I talked to the uh, contractor earlier, and I told him that I'm going to come up here Monday when he brings his truck to make sure that he's over here and on time. <laughs> All right. Now, um, this is a beautiful occasion. This is a happy day. But it's going to be an exciting and joyful day when we actually see some bricks and mortar coming up. Now, this fair road entity is going is a, been a baby of mine, and I am looking forward to some things happening here and some revitalization. This is just the beginning. I feel that this is a beginning for our neighborhood. And so I'm looking for a revitalization to take place, and the sooner the better. Again, I'm going to say thank you and God bless. Amen.